Nowadays, to make money, all you need to do is to be smart and keep updating yourself constantly. So as you should know by now, there are a lot of untapped opportunities in Africa. And you know, on the channel, we always bring up some of those things that people don't even know about or don't think about. So this is one of those videos. Today, I am going to be unleashing to you five businesses that you aren't thinking of. And even if you think of them, you might be neglecting them. And the thing is, they are very, very lucrative if well handled so without further ado let's dive straight into the points but before we do that please do well to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure to send this video to your loved ones if you find value in it and if you're new here my name is Erwin Chick and you're watching Africa Today Now, the first business I am going to be talking about here is professional shoe cleaning business or shoe laundry service. So like you heard from the title, shoe laundry. So it has to do with the cleaning of shoes, but not only throwing shoes into the washing machine, all right? This has to do with the deep cleaning of shoes, paying attention to every detail, thoroughly cleaning and polishing footwears for your clients. So the thing is, you could actually do the general cleaning of shoes as a whole, or you could choose to specialize in one particular aspect. So you could choose to start something like a sneaker cleaning service business, or loafer shoes or Oxford shoe cleaning business. So those are the examples of shoe cleaning services that you could render to your clients. So let's assume you open your sneaker cleaning business. You are going to be making a lot of money because we all can agree that it isn't easy cleaning sneakers at home. It is a very difficult thing to do. To clean sneakers and make them have no stain at all is a very tedious and technical thing to do. So a professional shoe cleaner will actually make sure that they protect your shoe from damage and any stain at all and it makes the shoes always look like new the service is faster and time saving compared to you if you were to do it at home so it is something that a lot of people go for and it is quite popular in other parts of the world already so this is something that you could actually start in africa and make good money for yourself it might be done but in a low key way it isn't really something serious or taken seriously so if you want to do such a business you do it with all your strength and all your mind and take it very seriously and do it very professionally. And I can guarantee you that if people know about these services, they are sure going to be paying for them. So to start up a shoe cleaning business, it isn't really that complicated, all right? The first thing is to study your locality or your environment or city and take note if they need those services. Next on, you will need to study the different types of materials and study the products that go with them because it is instrumental for your business to make sure that you use the appropriate products products for each material. Now, you know, dealing with shoes, you're going to have to treat materials like leather, canvas, and even jeans or denim material. Now, when you are done mastering the cleaning agents that go with the different materials, you can now go ahead to start your own business and create your logo. Choose a business name that best describes what you are doing and make sure that your logo outstands, for you are probably going to be the first in your locality to do this business professionally, all right? Whenever someone sees it somewhere they should know that it is your shoe cleaning business now for a start no one knows you right so another strategy you could take is to start by cleaning maybe your relatives shoes or whosoever you know clean their shoes for little or no money because that's the easiest way to start you need to make your services known out there and you need things like customer reviews that is going to propel your business online now you're going to be taking the pictures or videos of the previously cleaned shoes snippets of behind the scenes of how you are doing the cleaning proper and put on your social media pages. That's how people are going to quickly know about your services and start bringing their shoes to you for cleaning. Second on our list is the cleaning service business. I once talked about the cleaning service business on this channel. So there are two main types. We've got the residential cleaning service and the commercial cleaning service. The good thing with this business is that you are embarking on something that is an absolute necessity in people's daily lives and it is something that is very very cheap to start all right so all you need basically are buckets brooms racks cleaning agents like detergents bleaches and sanitizers and you're good to go so you could go for either of them or actually make a blend all right so you could go for both and if you want to actually make more money you could go into the different categories of cleaning as well so you've got a domestic cleaning option
question which has to do with the cleaning of people's homes in exchange for money. Now there is also what we call end of tenancy cleaning which has to do with cleaning homes that have been exerted by the previous owners of the home. So let's say there is a landlord somewhere who gives houses for rent and once the rent expires and the owners liberate the house, the house generally needs cleaning. So that's what we refer to when we talk about tenancy cleaning. Now, the last but not the least option is, is the event and party cleaning service. Now, you got it right, events and parties. So, you are simply offering to clean after events or parties, all right? You need to understand that there are three genres of cleaning, all right? So, we've got the surface cleaning, which basically has to do with cleaning everything visible. That's things like dusting, vacuuming. Those are surface cleaning genres. Now, we've got the deep cleaning. That has to do with cleaning of all the angles all the surfaces making sure everywhere is neat and sparkling so you're going to be applying things like washing mopping and all the like now the third genre is actually what we call the sanitizing method so this one has to do with the application of appropriate product on an infected surface so it could be getting rid of mosquitoes getting rid of bed bugs and all the like so you could actually specialize in each genre or as well go for the three genres of cleaning all right so like i said a cleaning business is actually something very wide and that is very lucrative because nowadays a lot of people need those services now not forgetting another option which is the furniture cleaning all right you could see specialized in furniture cleaning there are a lot of people who are doing that all right i've seen a lot of guys who just look for chemicals and they go about from house to house cleaning people's sofas and whatever furniture people want to clean and make it instant money for themselves. I quite remember when I was still renting an apartment in a building with other neighbors, there's this guy who used to come by, especially on weekends and Saturdays, and used to offer his cleaning services. He would come like once a month and offer his cleaning services to the neighborhood. And a lot of us used to actually hire his services. So we would pay like $10 or so for his services, depending on what exactly he is cleaning for you. And mark you, that guy used to move about with only only one cleaning product all right and a tissue that he would use to scrub the sofa or whichever furniture he is cleaning he will obviously make use of water but he will be using your own water to do the cleaning so you can see how easy it is to actually start a cleaning service business now the cleaning service business is so profitable nowadays because most people are lazy and if they aren't lazy they don't have the time to do cleaning in their homes let's take for instance someone who has a mansion and who actually works can't really get time to clean that mansion such a person will obviously sought out for cleaning services apartment owners who've got tenants that they can't control will often hire cleaning services to maintain their buildings intact so the most profitable is actually commercial cleaning because the demand is so high so if you start up a cleaning service business you are going to be making a lot of money if you go commercially and especially if you succeed to secure a contract with let's say the government or an organization you are sure going to be making some good cash for yourself you know commercial buildings are most times cleaned on daily basis so you aren't going to be needing to deep clean all the time or to invest a lot of time in the cleaning but you will be cashing out big that is your cleaning input will be more extensive and your labor extensive right and this is because such structures are cleaned often and they don't really get nasty so you wouldn't need to put a lot in order to make it spark and once you get a contract with them you are sure with making good money because most companies out there already have a budget set aside for the cleaning of the their structure so all you need to do is make sure that you do your job diligently and you are going to get your contract renewed always now the next business i am going to be talking about is one of those businesses that are very neglected or underestimated in africa but indeed this business is very very lucrative and actually it takes a lot to do it but it is something that really pays off if you do it the right way i was actually shocked to discovering that this business is this serious because i am one of those who generally didn't really take it that seriously and i was pleasantly shocked to notice that it's actually a big deal i am talking here of long care business so generally we just thought that long care business is something that has to do with the trimming of the lawn and maybe the watering 
or at most the weeding of the grass all right that's what i thought for that's the most i saw from a lawn cleaning agent all right and many people do the same but while researching on this topic i actually noticed that it goes far more beyond that so basically the core of the business is maintaining your clients lawn all right but there are a lot of things that come into play when we talk of maintaining your clients lawn so you're going to be taking care of the lawn's health its color and its vitality for as long as possible you are responsible of making sure that they stay intact and most importantly you will need to have a good mastery of pest control weed control fertilization aeration irrigation soil testing and deep root feeding for shrubs and trees so you can see that it is something that goes way beyond the trimming of the lawn and the weeding as we used to see right and it is quite lucrative all right averagely it will cost about 30 to 60 dollars for a visit or an ass job depending obviously on the size of your client's lawn right so just imagine having to visit like six clients a day or trim six gardens a day so just take an average of 30 to 60 dollars and do the maths to have an idea of how much you could make with this business that is neglected by many in Africa. Now, this is one of those businesses that is really for the smartest people out there. This has to do with art business or African art. This business is very suitable for those who are good at drawing and painting. But if you aren't good at those, please don't be frustrated, all right? There is actually a way to go about it. Remember, I always tell you here that in this day and time, there's no reason for you not to acquire any skills at any point in time all right so don't ever be frustrated if you want to do something and you don't know how to go about it for there is actually everything online there are ebooks that you can buy there are courses that you can take and everything happens online like i always say all right so there's no point for you shying away from that dream project of yours just because you think you don't have the skills you can acquire any skills at any stage of your life and now this it's even much more easier because we've got the ai that is actually a big if not the biggest assistant that you could ever get so the art business is actually one of those businesses that you could rush to ai for help and besides there are other apps that you could actually make good use of all right so you've got apps like art flow sketchbook procreate that you could make good use of so you just need to be smart all right think of whatever trending thing out there and try and come up with something artistic about it all right so you could take for instance something like let's say now there is this statement that is trending this back to africa movement that is trending and sketch up something all right to do it very beautifully something that has a lot of meaning deep meaning something with which a lot of africans or african diaspora can relate and that's how you're going to be making money all right we can also be smart enough to make good use of seasonal occasions so let's say feast days or feast weeks if it is christmas period do something that has to do with the christmas event all right do something that has to do with easter if it is the easter period so you just need to be smart enough to know how to get people's attention so basically you just need to pay attention to feast periods and come up with religious artwork that actually aligns with the period in time so don't you worry if you don't have a showroom all right like i always say everything happens online go online create your own showroom there all right you could open a website where you display your artwork or you could still take it to your social media accounts on your social media pages showcase your artwork there and trust me people are going to be contacting you. you could even go ahead and sponsor your artwork all right you can make use of sponsored ads for instance if you're on facebook you could sponsor your post to be shown to a particular audience so you can actually target the right audience for your artwork on there you know with sponsored posts you can actually choose the geographic location where you want your post to be shown you can even choose right up to the cities you want your post to be shown all right so there are a lot of tools you could make use of and make money now next on our list we've got automatic car wash business so with this business module you are going to be using less workers spend less on salary because you don't need a lot of workers for it is a business that has a lot of autonomy so an automatic car wash system is basically a business wherein a car drives into the structure and the automatic car wash unleashes water onto the car and cleans it in no time and like i said it is actually labor extensive and it is a very lucrative business 
you know unlike the ordinary car wash that people pay an average of three dollars or so in africa you could charge a little bit more you could go for maybe four to six dollars though you're going to be charging an additional something i can guarantee you that you are still going to be getting a lot of clients because with this system the quality of your client's car is actually maintained unlike the ordinary car wash systems where substandard materials are used to scrub the car which generally damages the car and the paint in the long run with the automatic car wash the wash material is made up of special fiber that delicately washes the car thereby maintaining the color and causing no harm to the paint and generally automatic car wash owners make an average of a hundred thousand dollars per year so if you're interested in knowing more do well to check this video wherein i cover the automatic car wash business in detail and i also alongside give you other businesses that you would actually be the very first to start in africa so goal getters now you've got five interesting businesses that you never thought of or that you might have been neglecting that you could actually start in africa and cash out real big but that's it thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on my next one